This next question tells us that a 170 gram sample of an unidentified compound contains 29.84 grams of sodium, 67.49 grams of chromium, and 72.67 grams of oxygen. And it's asking us what is its empirical formula. Now it's telling us that we have a 170 gram sample. If we add 29.84 plus plus 67.49 plus 72.67, it will equal 170 grams. So we can treat this 170 grams as the 100%. And since it gave us the information in grams instead of percents, we don't have to worry about converting percent to grams. For sodium, we have 29.84 grams. Chromium, we have 67.49 grams. And for oxygen, we have 72.67 grams. Our next step is to convert from grams to moles using molar mass from the periodic table. And for sodium, we see that we have 22.990 grams for every one mole. Crossing out grams and leaving moles, we have 1.298 moles of sodium. For chromium, there are 51.996 grams in every one mole, which gives us 1.298 moles of chromium. And for oxygen, we have 15.999 grams in every one mole which is 4.542 moles of oxygen. The next step is to divide each of the moles of the element by the lowest number of moles. And in this case, we see that it's 1.298. So in dividing each one by 1.298, for sodium, I have one. For chromium, we have one. And for oxygen, we get 3.5. Now remember, anytime you have a 0.5, you want to multiply by two to get rid of the decimal, but you also have to multiply all other elements in the compound by two. So this will give us seven for oxygen, two for chromium, and two for sodium. Using each of these numbers for our subscripts, the empirical formula is sodium 2, chromium 2, and oxygen 7. As always, thank you for watching.